One thing you need to know about the Ring of Fire, it produces 90% of the world's earthquakes. The Ring of Fire is also known for tsunamis. Ring of Fire. Ring of Fire. The Ring of Fire includes about 450 volcanoes. Many of them are submarine volcanoes, meaning they're underwater. The Ring of Fire is where some of history's most devastating natural disasters have happened and will continue to happen. Indonesia, a breathtaking archipelago in Southeast Asia, is renowned for its stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. However, hidden beneath its beauty lies a volatile secret. The country's geological position in the Ring of Fire makes it one of the most seismically active and volcanically explosive regions on Earth. With over 17,000 islands and a population of more than 271 million people, Indonesia's relationship with its volcanoes is a fascinating blend of awe, danger, and dependence. Scientists have discovered something that has shocked the entire scientific world. What is it? Let's find out. Indonesia's Geography Indonesia, with its geographical splendor, captivates the imagination with its vast archipelago of stunning islands. This Southeast Asian nation encompasses five major islands, Sumatra, Java, Borneo, Sulawesi, and New Guinea, along with a multitude of smaller islands forming an intricate tapestry of land and sea. Spanning an impressive area of 1.9 million square kilometers, Indonesia proudly holds the title of the world's largest island country. The remarkable diversity of Indonesia's geography owes itself to the convergence of tectonic plates that shape the region. Here, the Indian Ocean and Western Pacific plates intricately interact as they slide beneath the Eurasian plate. This dynamic collision gives rise to a myriad of geological phenomena, making Indonesia a hotbed of seismic activity. Earthquakes frequently shake the ground, while volcanic eruptions punctuate the landscape with raw power. This ongoing interplay between tectonic forces in the Earth's crust has sculpted Indonesia's unique terrain. A whole series of volcanoes begins to pop up along the edge of the continent parallel to the trend. The Volcanic Belt Indonesia's volcanic belt, extending from Sumatra to Flores, is a geological marvel that showcases the country's remarkable concentration of volcanic activity. With approximately 400 volcanoes, of which 127 are active, Indonesia stands as the third most volcanically active nation on Earth, trailing only the United States and Russia. This distinction highlights the immense significance of volcanoes in shaping the country's landscape and the lives of its people. The archipelago's volcanoes owe their existence to the collision between the Australian and Eurasian continental plates. As these massive tectonic plates converge, one plate slides beneath the other in a process known as subduction. These subduction zones give rise to volcanic chains and deep oceanic trenches, notably the Sundra Arc. This volatile combination creates a highly unstable region prone to frequent seismic activities, including earthquakes and tsunamis. One of the greatest eruptions was that of Tambora. Eruption of Mount Tambora In the annals of natural disasters, few events can rival the sheer magnitude and devastating impact of the great eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. Situated on the tranquil island of Sumbawa in Indonesia, Mount Tambora was about to unleash a cataclysm that would reverberate across the globe. The eruption commenced with an earth-shattering explosion, a thunderous roar that pierced the air and echoed for over 1,200 miles, leaving witnesses awestruck and terrified in equal measure. From the volcano's gaping maw, an enormous column of gas, dust, and smoke shot skyward, reaching unprecedented heights. The sheer power of the eruption was unimaginable, as rivers of molten lava flowed down the slopes with unrelenting force, leaving a path of destruction in their wake. The consequences of this colossal event were not confined to the immediate vicinity of Mount Tambora. Tsunamis surged forth, crashing upon coastal communities with ferocious waves, while ash clouds enveloped the sky, obscuring sunlight and casting an eerie pall over the land. The toll on human life was staggering, with an estimated 60,000 to 90,000 individuals losing their lives in Sumbawa and neighboring islands, swept away by the unforgiving forces of nature. Yet the impact extended far beyond the borders of Indonesia. The eruption unleashed a global climactic anomaly, forever marking the year 1816 as the year without summer. The colossal amount of volcanic ash and gases ejected into the atmosphere blanketed the planet, blocking sunlight and disrupting weather patterns worldwide. 
The consequences were dire. Frost and snowstorms struck regions as far as North America and Europe during the summer months, ravaging crops and causing widespread famine. The chilling effects on agriculture and reduced productivity reverberated throughout the world, leaving a profound mark on societies and economies. Challenges Living in close proximity to volcanoes in Indonesia presents an ongoing challenge that millions of Indonesians willingly face. The island of Java alone, home to over 120 million people, is adorned with more than 30 volcanoes. Despite the inherent dangers, the allure of the fertile volcanic soil and the economic opportunities it provides draw people to these regions. While scientists and the Indonesian Volcanological Survey diligently monitor volcanic activity, accurately predicting eruptions remains an arduous task. Volcanic behavior is notoriously complex and unpredictable, making it difficult to determine when an eruption will occur with precision. In response, the Indonesian government has taken measures to safeguard the population, evacuation plans are in place, and exclusion zones have been established around active volcanoes to minimize the risks. If you're liking the video so far, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Impacts When a volcano erupts, its impacts extend far beyond the immediate vicinity, reverberating through nearby regions and even leaving a mark on the global environment. In Indonesia, where volcanoes are prevalent, the proximity of densely populated areas to these volcanic hotspots makes the consequences all the more significant. One striking example of the destructive force of volcanic eruptions in Indonesia is the eruption of Mount Sinabung in 2014. Located in North Sumatra, this once dormant volcano awakened after centuries of slumber, catching nearby communities off guard. The eruption resulted in the displacement of thousands of people as ash and pyroclastic flows spewed forth, engulfing and devastating nearby villages. The impact was both immediate and long-lasting, leaving a trail of destruction in its wake. Another tragic incident occurred in 2018 when Anak Krakatau, a volcano situated in the Sunda Strait, unleashed its fury. The eruption triggered a deadly tsunami that affected the coastline surrounding the strait. The powerful combination of volcanic activity and the subsequent displacement of water caused immense devastation and loss of life. This catastrophic event highlighted the interconnectedness of volcanic eruptions and other natural hazards, emphasizing the need for comprehensive disaster preparedness and mitigation strategies. Quantifying the explosive power of volcanic eruptions is no easy task. However, it's crucial to comprehend their magnitude to grasp the scale of destruction they can unleash. To put things into perspective, the explosive energy released during a volcanic eruption can be compared to the detonation of an atomic bomb. This analogy helps us fathom the immense forces at play during these geological events. Economic and Environmental Impact The economic and environmental impact of Indonesia's volcanoes is a complex interplay between opportunities and challenges. On one hand, these volcanic landscapes offer immense potential for agriculture and contribute significantly to Indonesia's economy. The fertile andesols, enriched by volcanic ash and minerals, provide ideal conditions for a diverse range of crops to thrive. Indonesia's volcanic regions have become renowned for their high-quality coffee, tea, spices, and tropical fruits. The fertile soil yields bountiful harvests, making Indonesia one of the world's largest exporters of agricultural products. The globally celebrated Sumatran coffee owes its unique flavor to the volcanic terrain it grows on. Likewise, the aromatic spices and exotic fruits from the volcanic islands have captivated the palates of people all around the world, becoming an integral part of international cuisine. However, the same volcanoes that nurture the land with their fertile soil also pose significant risks. Eruptions can have devastating consequences, as witnessed during the 2010 eruption of Mount Mirapi in central Java. This catastrophic event claimed the lives of over 350 people and forced thousands to flee their homes. The destructive power of volcanic eruptions can cause widespread damage to infrastructure, disrupt transportation networks, and displace communities, leading to social and economic upheaval. Indonesia's volcanoes, with their majestic presence and untamed power, are a testament to the forces that shape our planet. They've played a significant role in shaping Indonesia's geography, culture, and history. While the potential dangers they pose cannot be ignored, the resilience and adaptability of the Indonesian people have allowed them to coexist with these natural wonders. The ongoing monitoring efforts and disaster preparedness initiatives demonstrate the commitment of the government and scientists to ensure the safety of the population. What do you think of this? Let us know in the comments section below and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.